I want to pick the motherfucking flowers, Nancy. For her to look you up. I don't even know they're back there. They're so quiet. Mary! Say hi, Grandma! Hi, Grandma. Nancy! Mom! Her! Your daughter! <laughs> Miss Goody Two Shoes! I'm telling you! 40 years! Okay? No! She's been doing that to me and it hit me in the head! Mommy! You better get her. I didn't let the dogs out this time, so I don't deserve this stuff. That's so funny. She'll call it. She'll tell her to stop picking on me. Mommy! No, she'll roll her eyes and walk away. Then why do I get yelled at about letting your dogs out? Because it's an because idiot move. Dogs. No, dogs run. Duh. How about I go to your apartment, take the dogs to the dog park, open the cage, and say, Hi, Astro, bye! They won't leave. Because I have good dogs. <laughs> Why is it every time I make a video, somebody texts me, that's going to be in the middle of the video, all of a sudden you hear, <laughs> oh, put your teeth in. No, they're at home. She doesn't wear her teeth. Her mouth is going to sink in. I'm wondering how far that chin's going to stick out by the time she's eating. I know, it's, it's going to be bad. She's going to look like the little old lady off Tom and Jerry. Tweety's like, mom. I'm trying to think of the lady's name. She's a little bum on top I of love. Yeah, I love her. Yeah, I posted her the other day. And her chin sticks up here. Yeah, but when you don't have teeth, you can do this. Dude, I have bottom teeth and I can do that shit. Oh, you just passed up. Okay, you just... You just test the po five one five oh hearing come the po po. That's where you go to Clifton. That's where the Tennessee River is and the bluff over. Oh, the cows. The the paddle boats used to come in. And then the scenery. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Something's on fire. Tree. No. That's not fire right there. Fog. Nah, really? Oh, it is. No, it's a dirt road. That, that, Chewing somebody on might, the dirt road. Oh, you probably went down that road. Ladybugs living like in Georgia. Dust off the church. The walls are beautiful. And I've called the real straight lines. That's where they put um, dynamite down. Remember me laying out in the headlight. It's beautiful. It's where you can see, like, it looks like a line in the rock. That's how they blew the rock out of the way. When they were. There's part of this still under um, road work going to Savannah, building it into four lanes each way, so you're about to hit a mess. Um, huh. They'll tell you to turn your cell phone off and everything them. if they're blasting that day. Why? Because they'll fuck up your phone if they set off the thing. Really? So that's oh, how they man. communicate the signal. Oh, boom! They blast it? Yeah, that's why there looks like straight lines down the rock. It's oh, they're, they put dynamite down they're blasting the again, making bigger roads. Yeah, but I think oh. I'm taking a video blasting. so we can get all this. It's just I've got the camera the other way so I now, can get the, the idiot time, in the back. If it if it snows, if it sleets and rains before it snows and then ices, all these rocks, it's giant ice, is, ice crystals. Back. Oh, that's bad. I'd love to I come up here. I think that's really nifty. Yeah, that is very cool. Okay, Sandy. Nifty. Oh, yeah. Mama says that. Nifty. Well, the words I've heard Grandma and Grandpa say the most, Shut up, Mimi! Mimi Marie! That's what I've heard the most. I was Nancy Joyce unless I was a really deep shit, and then I was Nancy Mary Joyce. I know that every time we get a family get-together and there's more than one Bergeron, everybody's got to bring up about me and that damn frog. Well, you <laughs> sat on and broke it. You sat on a frog and broke it? Yeah, I'm broke Our... it. 
Our grandmother loved frogs, okay? Oh, okay. And then she had this, it was about the size of a two-year-old. If you were about, it it was about the size of a two-year-old. It was a huge piggy bank and she put it on the front porch. And when we all went out to the front porch, her exact words were, don't go near the frog. Don't touch my frog. And she was dead serious. Now, we were on, me, Eric, Brandy, Nancy were messing around. Maggie was out there, you know, she was only two years old. So she was just wanting to hang out with her cousins. And we all started messing around, and I somehow ended up getting pushed or lost my balance or something, and I said, "Sit on it." The for funny it. thing is, is that my aunt Dawn is in the mirror, is in the window laughing. Grandma comes out. I swear to God, I, I, I still feel it. <laughs> I mean, she got mad. At and me. it wasn't that we went out on the front porch, like because we were told just, to go out there. Oh yeah. Family get-togethers when we were all really little. Our asses were on the back porch or on the front porch. Yep. Go keep busy. Go keep but busy. our grandmother was sick, I think, from the day I was born. I mean, by the time Oh, I that was, explains a lot. She was sick before that. Oh, yeah. She was born with asthma. But the COPD and everything. I think by the time I was 10, she was on oxygen all the time. Not all the time. Not all the time. I think it happened when we were both in middle school because she was still working at the movie theater when she had, was taking her oxygen tank around. She enjoyed that. And it's not the smoking that did it too much to her as it's it is the all the chem the beauty salon chemicals that were in the 60s and 70s. I mean, I could sh we could show you pictures of our grandmother, She's God rest her very, soul. very, very long time we, on oxygen. Because they told... Before she, the COP meds, COPD meds were what She they said are she today. wasn't going anywhere. Last thing's going ahead. We have to get my little bits. I think it's at the left lane. It's closed, Nancy. Left lane closes, but they both merge together, and then you gotta go, whoop, But, um, no, our grandmother, she said she wasn't going anywhere until every one of her children were married Plus and happy. Cool. Our grandma and grandpa's room and How often do you room. see that? Blasting zone. <laughs> really, how often do you see that? <laughs> when we went to Carl's wedding, grandma and grandpa's room was attached to me and mom's room. Mm -hmm. And she was sitting at the little table before we went to the dinner that night. And she said that, that that night was the last night she had to say her novena to pray that all that she got to live long oh. enough. Jesus, to mother of hell, hell, motherfucker! Yeah, I know. Oh my, he's coming he around to, our fucking lane. He's trying to go Why around the whole other one. In a no passing zone, that top that off, shit. He's trying God. to go around the whole motherfucker. Most people hold No, she said that all her kids would be married. And six right. months later, she was gone. Yeah, she was gone within six months. But you and know what? Really, There's really one. What's really bad is Uncle Carl was the only one of the six kids who knew how bad she That's was. That's where they're blasting at? Holy yeah. cow, look at that. They're blasting. Check yeah, that, that out. was the side of a mountain all the way across it, the road. Holy cow, you see, see that, Amanda? See, can you tell? Looking at it? Yeah. That was the side. They've cleared all that and up. All of that used to be a mountain. Wow. Yeah. I'm getting it all on video. Wow. No, Uncle Carl was the only one, from what I understand, that knew that Grandpa moved her from place to place and bathed her and everything. And, and I thought she was going to kill Aunt Cindy and Nanny Dawn and Uncle Butch and Richard, too, at Carl's wedding. My Uncle Butch and my Uncle Richard kept coming over and stealing my Annie Dawn's drink, so she kept going to the bar and getting a new drink. And she thought everybody was going to think she was drunk. And I didn't my even Aunt know Cindy was probably a little bit tipsy, maybe, just a little. She'd had a few drinks, but I mean, it's a wedding. It was open bar, it was at a fancy, oh, fancy, yellow flowers. country oh, club. Oh, I can have flowers there. Look at all the flowers. Hey, the, 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 Courtney's dad had done the flowers for the wedding in the middle of the tables. It was one of his therapeutic things, from what I understand that he did, from what my mom said. And they were up high in the middle of the table where everybody has to sit and look at each other and had these dangling flowers. Well, my Aunt Cindy decided she was going to inter wow, interview look at that. everybody. Is that fog up there? Yeah. She's going to interview everybody with the dangling flowers, and my grandma was going to kill her. I didn't even know Uncle Carl was getting married. I didn't even get invited. And then, then Annie Dawn didn't want to eat what the food was and asked for something else, and I thought grandma was going to get a pill. Because it was salmon. Ew. And she just kind of looked at it. I can't 
can't blame her. I would have too. I would have been like, ew, fish, really? Oh, this is beautiful up here. It's starting to sprinkle. It might be the flat, low-lying clouds, but it might be fog, fog rain from the fog. Yeah, I'm getting all getting this on video. So they actually let the dynamite off while you're driving by? They'll stop it, and then they'll go, it'll go boom, and then they'll let the traffic go again. Oh, okay. About to actually blast I was it. like, holy cow, they're going to let you drive by while they're blasting it? See how they're cleaning all that up. Oh, wow. Five, one, five, oh, look out, it's the po-po. I don't know why I do that, I just do. You haven't gotten annoyed with that in the last three days? Nope. <laughs> I'm glad Miss Marie isn't with us. Every time we go past and they change this road, she goes, Nancy, I'm never going to find my way to Savannah again. Even once I get my hot hot bar eating on, how do you know where to go? Follow the road. <laughs> on the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. We've already passed through a town that basically died. What do you mean it died? Okay, can you please stay on your side of the road this morning? Crap, oh, make me choke. Horn. Nothing like a Mack truck coming on your side of the road. Use your fucking horn. What do you mean the town what died? Away. All the businesses and everything closed in it. I think we've already gone through it. Yeah, we did. I think I need a diaper on. What I'm was the name of it? Olive Hill. Oh. Why'd they close? The post office closed. The business is um, Businesses slowly closed, and then the post office and everything finally closed. The area is still called Olive Hill, but there's not a town there anymore. Even though it was just real, it was really, really small, but it's not there anymore. Do they we still have like a town square you can no, see? No, like... just drove through what was Olive Hill. Oh. <laughs> Did you see any of it? I saw a house. A house. No, they widened the road and took out all of where all the businesses and stuff were. This building had work. They closed for 20 years. Yeah, when in the late 80s, early 90s, small towns were hitting, the economy hit them hard. When yet, in the late 90s, when things started picking up and things started getting better, um, people don't realize that small towns that were affected, big areas like where we're from actually did good, but little towns are the ones that suffered. It's because all factories were out of the country. I, I got to admit, there's not a lot of things I agree with what Trump's going to do, there's but there's some, there's some things that I do agree with, and to get You're it You're not going to look up Bergeron and figure out which ones are related to and change that piece out. No, it's one of the things where what he plans to do to get factories to come back to the United States and into small town America, I agree with. And I'm like, you know what, everybody can say what they want. But if there's certain things that do need to be done. He did one thing to make all of his money. Any other thing he ever tried to start business-wise has hit the bucket. That's not true. Bankrupt, foreclosed. There's buildings sitting in Tampa that were being built that never got finished. Oh, that didn't have to do with that. The zone, the zone, no, they didn't want, that had something to do with Pam Iorio. She actually knocked that down. Well, it was already half built and now it's sitting there half built. No, they finished it. Why are they building such a big road? I mean, it's dead out here. Eventually, they want to make it so that you can go to Memphis all the way to Chattanooga, four-lane road, and then it'll be a main road. It's a project that was started in the 1980s. Okay, then. They want to make it to where it's, there's an interstate that goes straight through, basically. Kind of like what they're doing in 19. To where the southern you... end of the state. Because this was one lane each way. And it goes through a bunch of small towns and everything else. And they're hoping once in areas, like my county, the county commission and some of the families in my town, every time something tries to move in, they say, no, they don't want it. I don't care if there's a fucking Chili's. I don't care. If we, we, you can have a few things move in and build up. They have an industrial park between Collinwood and Waynesboro that the county owns. There is two buildings on it. The rest county makes a hay field out of because they have no other businesses to do But that's the county commission won't Hello, let anything do that. There's enough room to build this five factories out there. This is us on the way to Shiloh and Pickwick Park. And I've lived here a couple years 